Okay, so in this video we are going to install Red Hat Enterprise Linux version 8 in VMware Workstation. First thing first, you need a Red Hat Enterprise Linux version 8 operating system. So what you can do, you can go to Google and write down here Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8 download. So the best website you can go to developerredhead.com okay either this one or this the same link and when you click this one uh, it will take you to here developer red head and product red head enterprise linux and download and from here you can download the one which uh, we are interested in this one which is almost 9 gb but by the way you can ins download and install this one as well the boot iso okay so you can use this one as well if your internet is slow or for some reason so the latest version which i'm going to install is uh, red Hat enterprise linux 8.40 but keep in mind you will need an account to download when you click on this one it will ask you to log in you can create free account here so now i'm here okay it's uh, because it's save my account so i'm already logging but anyway if i click here and log out because i already have an account but don't worry it's free and you can create account okay so let me go back to log back in and here i want to show you here this place register uh, for a red head account you just need to click this one and type your detail like you need to choose personal account uh, red head login information any name suppose access msc in my case you can type anything uh, choose a password confirm the password and personal information like a first name last name job title email address country information address city and create my account so when you create account then you can log in to download a red head enterprise Linux operating system okay so this is the way I already download is in my download folder because it's taking time to download is 9 GB almost so I already download uh, RHEL Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8.4 is the version and 8664 is the architecture and this the DVD version ISO is the extension so I already have next thing i need the uh, vmware workstation the one i'm using is version 16.1 something okay but it's similar in every version if you want to install uh, vmware workstation so what i can do click file then new virtual machine okay new virtual machine then choose custom keep in mind you need to choose custom and click next then uh, leave it the default one and click next here you need to choose the third option i will install the operating system later you may thinking why not to choose the iso here and directly install yes in the case of this one and this one what will happen you see if i choose this one so they say this operating system will be used as install now you may thinking what is AZ install you can click here AZ install means it will not ask you anything and VMware will install operating system easily without asking you any information hard drive password and so many things but I want to show you step by step how to install so that's why I want to choose the last one if you know already the installation process then you can choose this one it will easy install and it will be ready for you but in my case because i want to show you step by step so that's why i choose i will install this operating system later and click next now here you need to choose which operating system so definitely linux and here you need to choose the red Hat 8 because it's 8.4 and 64 bit click next here give them the name so red Hat uh enterprise linux and this time i want to give them 02 means this reddit 
and this is the location where you want to store the operating system in your system okay so this is the default location is virtual machine in my document it's okay if you want you can change the location to browse click next now it's asking you processor how many processor you want to assign keep them one it's okay no issue and click next now this is the ram so it's uh, almost 2 gb it's okay if you have more ram you can assign more if you have less so minimum is 1 GB. It will work on 1 GB as well. But in my case, I have a 50 GB in my laptop. So it's okay. I can assign 2 GB and click next. Next thing is asking about the network type. So I will use net because a net interface, I will get uh, internet access as well. So later on, I need internet access as well. So I will keep the default one. Okay, which is net network address translation you already know this one and click next keep the default one this the uh, controller input output controller so keep the default and recommended one no need to change anything and click next again keep the default one nvme recommended and click next create a new virtual hard x because we don't have a virtual hard x for this linux so i will say create a new virtual hard x and click next here i need to assign how much space so minimum is 10 gb but anyway i will keep the 20 the default one but you need to change this one store virtual disk as a single file so i will choose this one and keep the 20 gb if you have more you can assign more click next and this the file name hard drive file name uh, this the extension and click next and this is the final configuration if you want to customize something you can click otherwise finish but the installation is not yet started okay so i finished this the name redhead enterprise linux dash 02 what i need to do now i need to put the uh, iso file which i download this one iso file so what I can do, I need to click CD DVD SATA. Okay. And when I click here, I need to choose use ISO and now browse that file, the one which we download this one, redhead and choose that one and click OK. Done. And now you can power on this virtual machine. So this the way why I'm doing this so that I can show you step by step. Now you will see the steps. Okay. So yeah. So in the first step, you need to choose the first one. Install Redhead Enterprise Linux 8.4 and click enter. The second option was related to test the DVD, but I don't want to test the DVD. Okay. Now it will boot up. And then it will ask us step by step each and everything. Okay. There is an easy way to install, which I told you the easy way, but uh, this time I'm going to show you each and every step. So it will take some time. So let's see to boot up. Then it will ask you information. Okay, so it's booting up. So let me show you the step. What I done, uh, new virtual machine, then I say custom, then I leave the default one, I choose the third option, and then I choose Linux and Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8. Then I give them the name, here I give 01, but in this case I give them 02. I keep the default one, number of processors, and 2 GB RAM here a net interface and then this one default one input output controller keep the default one this one as well and create a new virtual disk and then 20 gb and store virtual disk as a single file then uh, you can click next and here if you want to customize something otherwise click finish here i select the dvd okay i click cd and dvd and then I power on the virtual machine 
and then I choose the first one install Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8.4 okay so this is the first thing they will ask us about the language so let's go there yes still so this will ask the uh, language which language you want to use so definitely we will use English okay and it's all, uh, already is here what language would you like to use during installation process so during installation process we want to use English language and United States either you can use a uh, United Kingdom okay and then I will click uh, continue so let's see I still it will ask in a moment okay and then I need to click each one to configure uh, this is localization keyboard which keyboard style you want to use so us is the default one we will use that one if you want to connect to red head we will not do this one we will do letter and here I will use the destination hard drive which we create 20 GB then the language support installation source definitely is media we already put the media and we don't need to enable it's already enabled and we will change time and date software selection and network selection and security policy and we will set the root password so let's go back let's see it's still okay it will come up so here you can uh, change each and everything related to localization software and system and user setting to set password and root and also you can create a new user here as well it's a next page i believe yeah it will be here after network time so it's here it will ask you to yeah this is the user which we can create by the way if you don't want to use the root username which is the default super admin okay so i'm here back and let's go back still it will take another one minute to show up okay and the first thing it will ask about the language so let's see now and it's to uh, totally graphical okay so let's check out mouse is here now so i believe it will show up now so first thing first we need to select the language okay so uh, let's see this the window of language so we will keep the default one and then we will click continue okay let's see so it's come up english and we will say continue click continue sometime it's not properly click so let's Uh, it's happened sometime you need to wait for a while to click continue okay so let me minimize and click again yeah I see done now so this is the language which I click next thing we need to configure many thing here if you want by the way we just need the red uh, mark one this one and this one and we can keep the default other thing okay so let's see okay so it's come up now now the keyboard uh, it will select English US so leave it this one if you want to change the keyboard so you can click on keyboard it's taking time to come up okay just wait a minute uh, okay and this the language so let me show you the language first so we will use English and click done okay if you want to change the language this is the keyboard so keyboard we will use English US so no need to change them if you want you can change and click done uh, next thing uh, connect to Red Hat right now I don't want to connect Red Hat to register we can do it later on it's not compulsory next thing this is compulsory system installation disk so we create 20 GB you know you remember so just choose this one and say automatic 
you can do custom as well because later in the course we will see how to uh, partition the hard drive and how to create the partition so leave it for now we will say automatic and 20 gb and done okay so this one is done fail to save storage okay so we need to choose again sometime it's taking time to uh, node x select so let me choose again maybe now is select and okay it's done you can click on this done button so now it will show up sometime you need to miss this one so you can go back and click this time i believe it's done yeah automatic partition is done now a language support i told you uh, installation source so definitely it's from our dvd no need to change this one this is also enabled we will discuss this later on in the course yeah time and date i want to change because this is america new york time so here i can choose asia where is asia and here i can type riyadh because i am in riyadh so i can choose riyadh and i need to enable ntp it's mentioned here okay so let me enable click on this one so it will enable okay oh ah just a minute yeah it's done so it's Riyadh and Asia and click done so I change the time to Asia Riyadh okay next thing software selection so I can uh, leave the default one server with graphical user interface you can change them and you can enable many servers but right now we don't need these server later on we will install one by one these server like window file server uh, like a file server storage server ftp server so i don't need anything i can uh, keep the default one server with graphical user interface just to show you no need to change this one and then network and host so click on this one and here on this one so its connectivity is done it will connect automatically to our network interface net okay and if you want to change the name so redhead uh, enterprise linux 02 so this is the host name and click apply it will show you here that the uh, current host name is redhead enterprise linux 02 and click done done so on and change the name that's it uh, what else security policy no need and we need to change the root password root is the user like administrator so let me assign a b c at the rate one two three four five a b c at the rate one two three four five so they said the password is weak but they give us that the password failed the dictionary check it's too simple uh, simple so what we can do we can uh, click twice this done button so it will accept so let's click done twice so it will accept by the way it's a weak password so that's why and when you click uh, go down there is user creation create a new user so i will create ali and i will give them a name a b c at the rate one two three four five a b c at the rate one two three four five again it's a simple password no issue and this the name okay let me make them uh make this user as administrator and done and so the user is created and now we can begin the installation so the installation is started and this configuring storage and then it will create partition then it will copy the file in each and everything and it will take um, around 10 to 15 minutes so let me pause the video when it's done this one so i will show you rest of the uh, steps okay so it's take almost half an hour and it's done completed next thing you need to click uh, reboot system so click here okay sometime you need to click few time okay let me close and come again and try now yeah so it's rebooted and let's go back until it's reboot so what we done uh, installation disk language support installation source 
uh, network and host software selection and we create one new user and we set password and root okay and then we click done this one this the uh, time setting and then we choose server with graphical user interface then we configure interface and change the name okay and then we set password and root account and also we create one new user with Ali okay and next thing so it takes some time almost half an hour and this the last tip which I just click reboot system so when it's reboot so the last thing you need to do license information you need to click on this one and you need to accept this one and click done and you are almost done so let's go back yeah it's coming up now and so finally you need to click finish configuration and this way installation is done okay and now we will log in through genome okay we will put Ali username either you can log in with root as well the same password we set a b c at the rate one two three four five and then sign in and then it will show you first time this welcome screen you need to click view next next and then next language selection and then privacy and then skip this one to login and done this few thing you need to do first time so let's go back so it's taking some time to come up so we are almost done it was easy to install by the way it's not difficult but it's take half an hour to uh, copy the files so that's the next step which we need to do first we need uh, this one license information we need to uh, click and accept this agreement so let's go yeah it's taking time to come up okay so let's go back again no still so let's see and we need to accept this one i accept this license agreement and then you need to click done so when you click done okay so final thing you need to click on finish configuration okay so let's see it will take another one minute to show you this window so the window is showing licensing click on this one and I accept this license and click done and finally finish configuration no need a subscription we will do this later on so click finish configuration okay and now we need to log in so by the way we can use Ali which we create this user with a uppercase BC at one two three four five either we can log in with root okay so it's up to you which one you want and then when you log in it will show you first time this welcome screen so let's see Please come up so you can log in with Ali either you can click here not listed click on this one and you can type root next okay and password a b c at the rate one two three four five you remember we set this password and click sign in you can log in with Ali as well by the way it's up to you so it will show you desktop let's see now okay so finally we are here okay okay so now you can see the desktop you can see redhead enterprise linux 8 and this the activities so let me log off to show you the welcome screen when you log in with another user not with root so let me log out from here uh, here is okay and let me no i don't want to power off 
okay I need to click here and now press space either you can click here as well to login back okay and now I don't want to log in with root so click here login another user there is a small you know and now press space bar either click on mouse okay and this time I want to log in with Ali user which we created during installation let me log in with Ali click Ali and let me type password a b c at the rate 1 2 3 4 5 and you can press enter either you can click sign in this time it will show you a welcome uh, screen first time this thing it will show you like this you need to choose English and then another also English and then privacy this location services if you want to enable if you don't want you can click here and then skip connect your online account if you want to connect through Google either you want to connect Facebook Twitter etc so you can do that one and finally start using Red Hat Enterprise Linux and you are done so this is the welcome screen it will show you when you log in with another user so let's see now I'm logging with Ali first time ever first time show you this welcome window so English click uh, next uh, keep the default one keyboard uh, language and then location services keep enable click next and let's say using Facebook Microsoft Google so I would say skip I don't want to log in and finally click start using Red Hat Enterprise Linux there will be another window which is related to help related maybe it will open that window as well yes yeah, come up now help window and finally we don't need this one as well and now we are here so this was how we can install Red Hat Enterprise Linux and VMware workstation